Thanks for stopping by today, guys. Um, it's going to be a fun one. It's a little cloudy out here in Texas. It's trying to rain off and on a little bit. It's been uh, kind of sprinkling, but that's okay. We've got the Weber kettle getting fired up. Um, we got some cherry chips in there, and uh, we're going to be rolling some ribs today. Um, but this is going to be a fun video. I have a uh, buddy of mine. Um, we always go over to his dad's house for guys night, and his niece is over there sometimes uh, when we get there. And she always tries the barbecue that I bring over. And she's one of my biggest barbecue fans, and uh, it really motivates me to keep cooking. But um, last week, or maybe two weeks ago, she told me, you know, I like your barbecue a lot. And she's, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but 10 or 11, um, said she likes my barbecue a lot, but it's kind of spicy. And my flavor profile is spicy. So we got to talking, and I said, hey, if you want to make some seasoning or a combination of some seasonings that you like, um, I'll make you your own rack of ribs. So that's exactly what she did. Emma came up with this seasoning here and it's called Lou Q and it's a sweet seasoning. Um, and I told her I was going to make her ribs with her seasoning. So that's what we're going to do. You'll get to see her trying the ribs out at the end of the video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscription button and that bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey. And uh, I truly appreciate y'all for coming along on the barbecue journey. Comment down below. Let me know you're watching. All right, guys, let's get to these ribs. All right, it's time to get these ribs prepped, and we're not going to do a whole lot, but we don't want to shortcut my little barbecue buddy, so we're going to get some of this fat off. This is just going to make for a better bite on the ribs, make them more even. Nobody wants just a bite of fat on a rib, so I'm just going to trim that fat off right there. That's good. Pretty much you're just looking for stuff that doesn't look appealing right now. I mean, we're not going to get into a competition trim or anything, but we are going to get them prepped a little bit here. And sometimes there's a flap right here, but it looks like the packing uh, company or butcher already got that handled. And we're going to go ahead and uh, leave that membrane. So these were actually easy. It's actually a uh, good looking rack of ribs here. So there we go. Let's go on with some of Emma's seasoning. And that is so cool uh, seeing kids get involved in barbecue. And I mean, comment down below. Give Emma some... Uh, encouragement for making her own seasoning that's really cool so we're gonna get her hooked up with a rack of ribs st louis style ribs and hopefully she likes them weber kettle's smelling really good with that cherry wood going there you go that's good hopefully y'all are all having a great memorial weekend and uh as always remember what Memorial Weekend is about, and uh, I appreciate all those that have fought for our country and uh, lost their lives, or if you have a family member that was involved like that, we uh, we sure do appreciate you here at my household. So I'm going to get these bad boys seasoned up with the Lou Q from Emma. So cool. Um, we've been talking about getting her and my son more involved in barbecue um my son has two smokers so i told emma she's gonna have to come over and barbecue sometime so y'all look out for that maybe we'll have a video of my kiddo and her barbecuing that'd be pretty cool huh it's got some good color in this seasoning emma so we're gonna go ahead and get these uh seasoned up finish this rack of ribs up let them sweat in a little bit as you can see um it's already starting to sweat up there we go. Just like that. That seasoning's smelling good. So I'm gonna let that sweat in. I might touch up a few spots before we get them onto the Weber, but next time I see y'all, we'll be at the kettle. All right, the Weber kettle is now up to temperature. We're shooting for about 250, 260, and the ribs are looking good. They're sweat in nicely. Um, I went ahead and stacked the kettle um, about two wide and two high with the Kingsford Blue and just sprinkled some uh, cherry wood chips throughout there. I anticipate I'll probably have to add some more uh, wood chips throughout the cook to make sure we get a good smoke flavor on these ribs, but that's all good. But let's go ahead and get the Weber kettle opened up and get these ribs on. I just love the smell of cherry wood. 
and it smells awesome once you get the ribs on there as well the seasoning smelling good let's get these ribs on just like this on the indirect side kind of shape them up a bit so they cook uniform how you set your ribs on the smoker is how they're going to cook so i'm going to scrunch them up a bit this is a nice formed rack of ribs just straight from the grocery store y'all all right that's what we're looking like i'm going to go ahead and shut this down and we'll check on it in two hours all right it's been two hours and it's time to check on the st louis style ribs um, i've kind of just been throwing a little bit of uh, the cherry wood chips in there about a handful at a time to make sure we still have some consistent good cherry smoke rolling and we're probably going to top it off with a little bit more of the Lou Q that we're using today on the ribs. So let's go ahead and check the Weber kettle out and see how these ribs are. And I literally just added a handful of those cherry chips to it. So it's smoking good. And we've got plenty of charcoal in here. Not sure if you can see that from over there. Um, but we've got probably about 15 or so charcoal that haven't even got got caught yet so we're doing good with heat source and everything and fuel these ribs are looking awesome i'm going to go ahead and top them with a little bit more of the seasoning so i'm not even going to spritz these ribs i'm just going to let them ride these are looking awesome let me get my spatula that my barbecue bro gary golden got me and we're going to rotate these let's get these flipped around we got some good pullback on them nice color and I anticipate we probably have about an hour and a half to two hours left on these ribs. Just like that, we'll get them there. Those are looking awesome. Uh, Emma, hopefully you like these ribs. Next time I see y'all, we'll check on them and see what they're looking like. All right, guys, uh, we're going to cut into these ribs. They're looking awesome. Got a nice color on them. Perfect bend to them. They've been resting on the cutting board for about 10 or 15 minutes, and we're just not going to wait any longer. Um, I wanted to shout out Alex Gilmore um, from Pork Belly Woodworks for this awesome cutting board. It's perfect for these ribs. Um, let's go ahead and cut into it and see how they're looking. And after I do, me and Emma are going to give them a taste. Let's cut right here. There's one of them. Just like that right there. Look at that. Got beautiful color in there. That's a good cook. Got great bark. We're going to give them a taste. Let me cut one more for Emma. Right there. I'll take that turn out any day. So let me get this camera turned around and we'll give them a try. All right. So we got these beautiful ribs cut up. Me and Miss Emma Lou gonna give these a try. Got a good bark on them. Let's see here, which one do you want to try? Oh, this one right here. <laughs> what do you think? You think it looks good so far? Mm -hmm. Let's see what it's like here. Mm. <laughs> got a perfect bite there. It's got some good flavor. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Kind of some garlic the in there, some lemon, yeah. That's a really good pork rib. That's a good rub. Proud of you. Mm -hmm. I know your family is too. That's good stuff. What do you give it? You got some work to do with it still, or you think uh, think it's where it's at? Mm, I think I could do some adjustments. Little adjustments. I think you're doing good. It's the first time. If anybody's ever tried ribs or uh, tried to make a rib rub, I should say. Um, first time you make it you know you never know what it's going to turn out like until you cook it so this is a really good start and i'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out a little bit later hmm. you want to tell them anything mm, it's good <laughs> she approves she's going to keep working on it i appreciate y'all for stopping by what's new barbecue if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscription button and the bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey and uh, maybe miss emma will come on here and cook with bubba and another episode later. So I'll catch up with y'all later. Y'all keep on barbecuing.